Welcome to Mid Summer Railway in Scale. I'm your host, Greg. So today, and probably the next video, are updates. Um, I'm not real happy with them, but rather than pull everything apart and start again, there'll be a quick overview of where my railway is and what I've been doing while I've been recovering just small little bits and pieces. Today, highly edited, um, as I said I'm not real happy with it but at least it shows what I've been doing, is it Arduino. Now my Arduino update is that I've actually put on a Wi-Fi module and upgraded the software. This was done about November last year and some of it is missing. Who knows what I've done with it. Um, I guess recovering and being a bit down and everything else. Rather than pull it all apart and do it again, and I've got to be honest, I'm not always in, still feeling a bit down and not terribly motivated. I thought I'd just put this out as it is, and it's not perfect, I realise that, but it's what I've been doing. So it's a really an update of where I am at. So here we go, here's the Arduino update where I put in the Wi-Fi module so I can run it off my phone. So here we go, here's the Arduino update. I hope you enjoy it. So you can see the Wi-Fi module. I've got a red and black which is a power plugged into the Wi-Fi module. I've got a yellow and orange which is the TX and RX of the Wi-Fi module. The other two, the blue and the white, which I'm plugging into SCL and SCA, are for the OLED display. There we go, the OLED display just stuck on a, a makeshift top. So making sure I've got the pin orientation correct of the Wi-Fi module, putting the pins in the right place, which is you can see and then pushing down of course so yeah, as you can see the Wi-Fi module is mounted and making sure the TX and the RX leads are connected to the Arduino board in the right order so the, R the RX goes to the TX and the TX goes to the RX Downloading the DCC EX files and then unpacking them. As you can see, we'll replace the files from a previous version. And here we go, I've unpacked it all. That was very quick. And then now the hard part to find the executable. Once I found the executable, eventually. <laughs> Installer EXE as you saw Windows wanted to say do you really want to run this? Yes I really want to run this and the screen then pops up with the DCC++ EX setup. I'm using the automatic setup, makes it simple it runs through it automatically finds the latest updates I then set up the board, which is a Mega, the motor shield, which is an Arduino motor shield. I set up my OLED display. So I'm setting up the OLED, not an LCD, so OLED, just a small screen. It's 128 by 64, enough to see details that you've got track power, IP address, etc, etc. Putting your network details for Wi-Fi. Now I've hidden mine for obvious reasons. So put your network and your password in. Then you can hit configure. As you can see we are now downloading all the relative files and it's now setting and uploading 
the files to the Arduino. And there we go, it's uploaded all the files. We're ready to go. So now I've rebooted the Arduino. As you can see, the screen lights up, tells me what version I've got, the license. You can see track power on, track power off, the IP address and the port. Wi-Fi setup is now complete and ready to run. You can see the lights on for main track and programming track. I've switched them on and off and now here's the engine throttle on my phone ready to operate. Update complete. Thank you for joining me today in this short video of my Arduino update. Just to let you know what I've been doing trying to uh, recover and not being able to do a lot and feeling a bit down and not always motivated to do things. I also apologize for the noise in the background. It's the air conditioner on. It's very warm here in the train room. It's uh, about 30 degrees outside. I want to thank all my subscribers and everyone who watches this video. Please hit the like button. Subscription is free. And it helps my channel and helps to motivate me to keep me going. And until next time, let's keep modelling and keep those model trains on the line. Bye.